Hello everyone and welcome back to the Collector's Outpost. I am John and we are going to talk about the Batmobile. Now the Batman movie has been out for a few days. I went to go see it uh, I think the day after it opened. Uh, we're not going to talk about anything about the movie or spoilers or anything but after the movie I had to run out to Target and Walmart and whatever and see if I could find the car because the car was pretty awesome. Not my favorite but it's pretty damn cool. There's a scene where you first see it and it just kind of comes to life and lights up and everything. It truly was its own character in the film. So of course after the film I had to go hit Walmarts and Targets and everything and see if I can find this car on the shelf somewhere. This is the small one, this is the 132nd scale. I'm gonna also see if I can find the 124 scale which is about a foot long, maybe a little bit less, 10 to 11 inches, something like that. Um, and I think on that one, I'm gonna weather it up and paint it and get the tires to look a little bit more realistic and all the mud and everything that's on the side of the car. But this is what I was able to find at Target. Um, I didn't have a chance to run to the Walmarts or anything. I looked online, but I didn't have anything. Um, so let's break this bad boy out. There's not a whole lot to look at. Um, underneath, we got the screw. Let's uh, get my little trusty screwdriver and get this bad boy out. And then uh, Batman, who is also made out of die cast, we'll just cut this little tab and get him out of there. Now, I gotta say, this is a pretty badass car. I uh, didn't really like it at first. I thought it was just a typical muscle car, you know, um, from the original promo photos. But when you see it in the movie with the sound design and the lighting, and it's it has its own attitude and its own personality, it's really cool. And But you have to also remember, we're not going to get the fancy, fancy Batmobiles from the other movies because this is Batman in year two. He's kind of just figuring things out. He hasn't even become the Bruce Wayne that we know yet. You know, that playboy. He's depressed. He's confused. He's damaged. You know, he's kind of building up on the person he's going to be. He hasn't really figured himself out yet. Unlike Ben Affleck's Batman, which is 30 years into the game already. All right, taking a closer look at this little teeny tiny monster, uh, which is only about, I think, five or six inches long. Um, it is die cast. The tires are plastic, and I believe the motor is made out of plastic as well. They managed to cram a lot of detail into a small car. Um, the doors do open. There's no window. I think that's mostly just so it's easier for people to get their little thumbs in there and kind of open up the door. Maybe. That's just kind of what I'm thinking. Um, there's a lot of detail inside. We got the roll cage. It's, you know, it's a little hard to see, but we got the steering wheel, the seats and everything. Unfortunately, mine seems to have a little crack in the window there, but, you know, is what it is. I didn't notice that when I picked it up. Really nice job on the engine details. You know, keep in mind, this is 132 scale. This is only a few inches long. So they did a really good job on that. Lots of detail around the front. I do wish they put some weathering paint, some of the mud and some of the scratches. Reasonably easy enough to do. Maybe we'll make another video on that just to kind of make this a little bit more screen accurate Now he does come with a little mini Pattinson Batman. Um, this is a uh, die cast as well There is very very little detail on this because this is like only an inch tall So <laughs> there's only so much you can ask for from these little uh, type of moles like that But it is die cast. So that's really awesome And I love that they give these little Batmans with the, uh, with the cars, that we can kind of line them all up and put the Batman with the with each car, so it's really cool. Well, that's about it. There's not a whole lot to talk about with this car. Um, it doesn't light up or anything, um, but it's a great addition to the collection of 132 scale Batmobiles I have. I should try to take on a project and build a 132 scale Bat Cave Bat garage kind of thing and get all these guys in there but anyway I'm gonna try to hunt down the 124 scale and we'll do a little bit of paint and weathering on that one I might do a little bit of work on this one just to kind of add some scuff marks and maybe a little bit of mud and yeah maybe we'll make a fun video out of that too um, anyway guys thank you so much for stopping by please jump down like subscribe hit that little bell button that'll help us out a lot to help grow this page thank you so much and I'll see you all in the next video take it easy